It was intimidating, for sure. At the beginning, when the world shut down and there was no protocol for what to do, no method, no, okay, I can put on a mask, I can double mask, I can stay six feet away from people and go out and protect myself. Yeah, I was incredibly scared. And I was one of those people who hid away in my house, but that's not sustainable. One of the things that makes us unique as a group is that uh, we don't all live in the same geographical location. So when we are preparing for a concert, we usually travel to go to our rehearsals and we spend uh, a week or two just playing quartet and quartet immersion. Before we would even talk about when our concert would be, we had to backtrack and count like, okay, how much time do we need to quarantine together? How much time do we need to quarantine self before that? When do we schedule tests? When do we schedule tests together? And how do we get back home and what kind of protocol do we maintain? So we created our own COVID protocol so we could establish our own quartet pod in order that we could rehearse and feel safe and comfortable. But that added about a month to either side, you know, together instead of just being a week or a week and a few days. It really expanded that whole time period that we had to dedicate to this project. Normally, in pre-pandemic times, when we're all together in, in town, we stay with board members. And during the pandemic, of course, we didn't do that at all. We did Airbnbs and ate every meal together and cooked together and, and had things uh, brought to our doorstep. We've kind of gotten to know each other. We feel like a very, like a, a family unit cooking together and living together because we had that bubble. And I'm happy to say that I think we all still like each other. We also, of course, had almost no experience, at least on our own, with how to record for video to live stream or to produce any kind of digital concerts. So we, you know, we were experimenting with learning how to handle the software. Trying to learn how to combine the audio with your video and make it sound good. But doing digital versions of almost all our concerts, I think is gonna be the norm. I think we're all a little more excited to be playing for people than playing for a recording device. The fact that we can play for people, I can see their face, they can see our face. That's a glimpse of normalcy that we haven't had in so long. And it's hopeful that things are turning around, things are getting back to the way that they are, and we're not going to be in this situation for much longer. So I definitely feel a lot of hope.